I say on the broad, people say to me like, oh, yeah, you really put over Suzuki. And I go, what do you mean? It's like, well, you say you're terrified of him. I'm like, no, I'm not putting him over. <laughs> I am legitimately afraid of Suzuki. When I see him backstage and he kind of gives me that weird smile, I try to scurry away as fast as possible. Yeah, I, there's no I don't make I try to be polite with everybody as Don said. I'm almost overly polite. He's the one guy that I completely avoid eye contact with and get out of his ways as fast as possible. Like I'm not in the room. Scott DeMore I do told not want to be seen by him or singled out. No, no. And Scott DeMore told me a story once, I guess, I don't know if it was, must have been when he was doing stuff with New Japan. And, and Scott, for whatever reason, was rolling around during the warm-up thing in the ring with one of the young guys that he knew. And they were kind of wrestling around. And Scott said he saw Suzuki walking down towards the ring for his warm up. And Scott said, I just very casually rolled out of the ring and walked away <laughs> because he said, I, I knew he would come in and torture me. Don, you saw at uh, Corican, the young lion there, uh, oh Kawato, God. he uh, starts off nicey nice. And, and uh, I mean, have you told that story on the show? I don't want to. No, no, please go ahead. <laughs> no, this is you because you, you were there. I witnessed that this is a young man, Lance just had turned 20 like he's the youngest of the current crop of young lions there's one that's actually 32 and another one that's 25 or 26 um so this is a true young young lion a nice young man he has an introduction to minoru suzuki which don was eyewitness to yeah so you know in japan as lance knows the young guys will come down and they'll work out and then some of the older guys will come down and Usually Suzuki will get in the ring and shadow box and, and do stuff that, you know, <laughs> looks like it's practicing for a shoot. And, um, of course, this is the guy who submitted Ken Shamrock twice in a shoot. So, this, you know, for those that don't understand, Suzuki is m more than the real deal. And so he starts working out, just kind of grappling on their knees or whatever with, with this Kawato. And, uh, and it, yeah, it was fine. And he'd get the kid down and he'd, he'd hook an arm and the kid would tap and he'd let him up and then they'd go again. This went on for about a half an hour. And then all of a sudden I see Suzuki ramping it up just a little bit. He hooks the kid in a leg hold with a cross face and the kid's tapping, but he's not letting him go. The kid's tapping furiously, not letting him go. I'm sitting there with Omega chatting at ringside and I'm watching this. And, I'm going, uh. and then the kid starts screaming. So it got fairly uncomfortable. And the, the, the kid, after 45 minutes of this, looks like he's run a marathon, like he's dead. Suzuki has not broken a sweat. Uh, I don't think his heart rate ever got above 60. And he is not even breathing hard. And he is obliterating this child. And he did something, I don't know what he caught him with, but he popped the kid in the eye <laughs> at one point with a fist or something. He's, I'm watching him climb on this kid and he's, he's very casually using the various sharp points of his body, uh, on the kid. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, and, and earlier in the day we had done the kind of press conference for the new Japan cup huh. and Suzuki, as he often does, leaves carnage in his wake. And as he got into it with Shibata, some of the young boys held him back. And this one particular young boy, Kawato, who he later uh, rolled around with, had grabbed him and Suzuki had thrown him down and had kicked him as hard as I've seen anyone get kicked in my life. So when he first brought the kid down to wrestle, I'm like, oh, so the kid took a stiff kick, you know, and, and, and Suzuki's now paying him back saying thank you by teaching him. But after the first half hour, it was clear that this was kind of one of those lessons that, you know, maybe he's better left in the, in the lesson planner because this kid just got the absolute hell beat out of him. But to his credit, he was fine with it. And he got so, so now I was downstairs at Corican, and Don comes down and and says, "Hey, I was talking with Omega, and you're not going to believe what just happened." And he tells the same story he just did, and then we go, "Yeah, we probably all right." Wow, Jesus, I'm sorry I missed that. Let me, uh, we should probably go back out because we got to do a rehearsal or something like that. And we go out through the hallway. We're going to go back up the stairs, and there's the kid. There's Guado who's standing there, and his he's got this tremendous mouse like under one eye. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, what happened? Ah, uh, Suzuki, uh, you know. I said, oh, okay, well, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. So we leave. Then he comes out. Now the kid wrestles in an eight-man opener. And we're done. Right shot out of a cannon against yeah. Liger. Like, Fired jump starts up. the match. And what did you mm -hmm. say? I don't remember. You said, 
it, it's one of those things like Suzuki told him to to come out like a house of fire. He was going to get worse <laughs> if he didn't. Oh, well, and, and yet yeah, that's right. And that it reminded me that there was a couple of times when, you know, and it was same with Mike Lozanski, who was a bad news protege as well, where news would tell us, like, you better go out there and kick this guy's ass because if you don't, I'll be waiting at the curtain for you. Good motivator. <laughs> uh, it was just, yeah, it was great. So here's this kid who had done dozens, hun- maybe a, a low hundred number of squats, then wrestled 45 minutes with Suzuki, then goes out in an eight-man, starts off hot against Liger, eats the pin, gets up after the pin, still has a lot of fire and shoves Liger back and is ready to go some more and his partners have to pull him off. And I was like, hell yeah. And the kid just had just turned 20 years old. And then probably had to tear the ring down afterwards. And then tear the ring down. And carry bags. (laughs) Yep. And he probably got, he was doing his young boy duties during the show and probably got beat up by Suzuki during the show. Yeah, I think almost like maybe Suzuki, like like most people, like we shake hands or hug when we say goodbye to each other. I think Suzuki just like kicks people in the leg or something like that's oh. like this handshake. <laughs> it's like, don't talk to me. Your description of his calcified shin is like, oh, man, that's my favorite. <laughs> well, he the thing is, he's got that crazy haircut and I'm looking at that and I'm going kind of with my thinning hair. I could probably rock that Suzuki haircut, just spike out the back of the hair. <laughs> Um, but what's really disturbing and like, I'd love to get a photo with him, but I don't think it would be a good idea. Um, (laughs) but, uh, he wears like, like, it's like a Frank Sinatra hat when he's walking around, Kevin, you know what I'm talking about? He's, he's, which which somehow makes him even more scary looking. I don't know why, but I'm like, oh my God, that's disturbing. Kind of a Cape fear. Ask like if if they wanted to remake that movie, he could be cast as the lead. Yeah, he he came out one time to the ring, and like of course we're sitting Lance right at ringside, a little too close for comfort in many respects, especially when guys hit the rail right in front of us. I don't like that. He came out, and all he did was look in our direction, and I instinctively got up and scrambled into the first row because I <laughs> I just thought like number one. Uh, hopefully he's happy that I'm selling for him, even though I'm not selling. I'm actually afraid. And number two, the, the the last thing you want, because if he puts his hands on you, he's not hitting you with a pretend punch. It's not Ricky Morton time. God bless Ricky Morton. I didn't mean that as an insult. If he puts his hands on you, he's doing something of value for him, which means you're going to get hurt, and they are not paying me enough to let Suzuki put his hands on me. So I, I scramble.